Teaching is a lifelong process of learning. As the saying goes, live to teach and not teach to live. I spent my childhood days with my parents and four siblings. Being the oldest, I assisted our mother in running the household, helping her in almost all household chores. I was not a very playful child. I seldom go out of the house except going to school. When I was in the high school and graduated, I never dreamed to be a teacher. My first choice was to take up nursing but lost interest due to the nature of nursing work in the hospital. I decided to take up commercial education at the University of the East in Manila. I was a very hardworking and conscientious student due to the very hard struggles of my parents to send me to college. After my practice teaching, I started to be more interested in becoming a teacher. My first day of teaching immediately after my college graduation was a very big challenge for me. Very nervous, of course, because I was requested by Mrs. Libertad Bissalud, then BEA principal, to take over her summer English classes. There were many challenges I encountered teaching in Papua New Guinea and in the United States. I had to work side by side with educators of different nationalities. There were differences in cultures, methods of teaching, lifestyles, and other factors, like speaking accents. They always wanted to have informal but very friendly relationships with everyone.
Batangas Eastern Academy, now Batangas Eastern Colleges, is very different from the other institutions that I have worked for. Due to the family atmosphere, once we become part of Pamilyang BEC. That's why when I retired from teaching in the United States government, I did not hesitate to join and teach again in this beloved and very prestigious school. Si Mang Fe ay isang tagahubo o molder. She teaches beyond the subject matter. Siya yung marami nang sinasabi sa mga estudyante na hindi mababasa sa mga textbook o references sapagkat ang mga ito'y batay sa kanyang karanasan. At ginagawa niya ito hindi lang sa kanyang mga estudyante kundi sa amin din na kasama niya sa pamilyang BEC. Sa lahat ng ito, Ma'am Fe, maraming salamat po sa iyong pagiging ikaw. For me, she is majestic. She is truly beautiful inside and outside. Napaka-natural at simple ang tao po ni Ma'am Fe. Mababaw lang po ang kanyang kaligayahan. Masarap at magaan siyang kasama. Talagang kamangha-mangha po siya. Ma'am Fe, we salute you. Isang inspirasyon ng pamilyang BEC ang pagkakaroon ng isang Ma'am Fe Espertusio, hindi lamang ng mga kapwa guro, kundi ang kanyang istorya ay isang magandang inspirasyon din sa mga batang guro na nagsisimula ng kanilang karera sa buhay. Ma'am Fe, maraming maraming salamat po sa palagi ang pagsasangkap ng pagmamahal sa anumang bagay na iyong binibigas at ginagawa. Graduate po ako ng Batangas Eastern Colleges kaya nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon na maging teacher ko yung mga estudyante ng inay at mga co-teachers din niya. And I'm very proud dahil sa mga bagay na sinabi nila, kwento nila tungkol sa inay, um, how good of a teacher she is sa mga estudyante niya noon, the inspiration that she gave them. And I know my on, from my personal experience, from how I know my mom. Alam kong mahal na mahal na mahal niya akong tuturo. Um, she takes her job personally in seeing her students succeed. Hi everyone, Ms. Dave Bertuccio, our mom. You are the most caring, giving, and generous person in the world. As a teacher, you are the most smartest and giving. And most of your students, I'm sure all of you, just vouch for that too. And for me, personally, you have taught me well as a student and you have taught me well as one of your sons. So thanks again, mom. I can say my mom, she is an amazing person, well accomplished, intelligent, funny, and very loving with a generous heart. She loves to help people, inspire people to succeed in their ventures. She um, takes pride in her work and her career teaching regardless of her age. She just loves to teach. She never gets tired of teaching. She loves to talk about her students, how she loves to teach them. She's such a dedicated teacher, relentless in her pursuit to impart her knowledge onto her students and to continue to nurture them towards a brighter future. I'd like to thank the Beck family, past and present, for being there for her. Like her mentor, Mom Libertad de Villa Salud, may we cherish my inai and our very own Ma'am Fe Salapari Bertusi. My greatest strength that enables me to move forward on my journey in my teaching career are my high hopes and ambitions to be successful and to always strive for excellent performance. To my fellow teachers, we have to keep dreaming with high hopes and ambitions to improve ourselves. Do not forget that our students and the community where we belong always look upon us with high regard and respect. We have to be very mindful of what we are doing in and outside our classrooms. As the saying goes, live to teach and not teach to live.